How did 3.6 million pounds of such toxic waste get stranded next to Pendleton on our beach? Um, it's stuck at Pendleton because there is no repository, uh, long-term repository for the waste um, across the entire country. The, the whole design philosophy behind these canisters is that they were there essentially to be a temporary storage until the fuel would be moved to a permanent repository. San Onofre's lethal waste is stored in thin metal canisters placed in a wet, salty environment. And by looking at the conditions of the tsunami wall, you can see the effect the ocean has had on metal and concrete. There's no way to unweld the canisters right now to see what the condition of the fuel is inside. So I would rather ask the question, uh, not how long will they last, but how soon could they fail? And that's where the risk factor really comes in when they say, well, the risk is minimal. Um, the risk is not minimal because it cannot be measured. And if it cannot be measured, then you have to assume that it can occur.